So when three notes are grouped together with uh, the number three above them, uh, or below them, the, the group is called a triplet. So a triplet is, is, is basically a group of three notes. Now a triplet is meant to be played in the same time of two notes of the same value. And the, uh, the, the, the time values are most frequently found in simple time signatures. Um, so if you had some eighth notes, right, grouped together, um, <clears throat> with a three above them like this, right, so this would indicate that it would it would be played just like two eighth notes would be played by itself by themselves but slightly slightly faster as to equate um so this would be the same as two eighth notes right <clears throat> so you know if you had if you had uh uh, you know, three, three quarter notes, right? <clears throat> With the uh, three above them, that would be letting you know that okay, you're supposed to group them together, and the the uh, the um, equivalent time value would be equal to two quarter notes separate. Um. So the most common triplets are those that consist of quarter, eighth, and sixteenth notes, right? So most common in simple time. Um, now rests can also be a part of a triplet. Its value represents the note it is replacing, right? So so you can have, let's say you had again this example, but but slightly different. So you had you have this guy. Okay. On here. But you insert a rest where this note would have been. This is the same value. So it represents exactly what this represented, right? They're the same value. But you just hold off playing playing um, the middle eighth note. And so that's basically it. Triplets are very common. Um, but to someone, you know, someone first seeing the, the three above, like, you know, three connected notes, it, it might be confusing at first, but just know that it represents the same time value as two separate notes.